Hello and welcome to the session. Let us understand the following question which says if the sum of the first n terms of an AP is 4n minus n square, what is the first term that is S1? What is the sum of first two terms? What is the second term? Similarly, find the third, the tenth and the nth terms. Now let's proceed on to the solution. Sum of n terms of an AP is given to us as four n minus n square. Therefore, S one is equal to substituting n is equal to one. In the given sum, we get four multiplied by one minus one square. Which is equal to four minus one, which is equal to three. Therefore, first term that is S one is equal to three. Now, sum of first two terms. That is, S two is equal to substituting n is equal to two in the given sum, we get four multiplied by two minus two square, which is equal to eight minus four, which is equal to four. Therefore, S two is equal to four. Now let us find the second term. We know S two is equal to n by two multiplied by two a plus n minus one d, where n is equal to two, and S two is equal to four, which is equal to Two by two multiplied by two multiplied by a, which that is our first term, which is equal to three plus two minus one multiplied by d. Here we can see that we have only one unknown, that is d. So two and two gets cancelled. Four is equal to six plus d. This implies d is equal to four minus six. This implies d is equal to minus two. So we have our common difference is equal to minus two. Therefore, we have now first term is equal to three. Sum of first two terms is equal to four. Second term a two. Is equal to S two minus S one, which is equal to four minus three, which is equal to one. Therefore, second term A two is equal to one. Now, let us find S three. S three is equal to substituting n is equal to three in the given sum. We get four into three minus three square, which is equal to twelve minus nine, which is equal to three. Therefore, S three is equal to three. Now we have to find the third term, that is a three, which is equal to s three minus s two, which is equal to three minus four, equal to minus one. 
therefore third term a3 is equal to minus 1 now we have to find the tenth term so let us first find s9 and s8 s9 is equal to substituting n is equal to 9 in the given sum we get 4 into 9 minus 9 square which is equal to 36 minus 81 which is equal to minus 45. Therefore, S9 is equal to minus 45. Now let us find S10. S10 is equal to Again, substituting n is equal to 10 in the given sum, we get 4 into 10 minus 10 square, which is equal to 40 minus 100, which is equal to minus 60. Therefore, S10 is equal to minus 60. And hence, the tenth term, A10, is equal to S10 minus S9 which is equal to minus 60 minus minus 45 which is equal to minus 60 plus 45 which is equal to minus 15. Therefore, A10 is equal to minus 15. Now we have to find the nth term. So let us find Sn and Sn minus 1. Sn is given to us as 4n minus n square and Sn minus 1 is equal to substituting n as n minus 1 we get 4 into n minus 1 minus n minus 1 the whole square which is equal to 4n minus 4 minus n square plus 1 minus 2n, which is equal to 4n minus 4 minus n square minus 1 plus 2n, which is equal to 6n minus 5 minus n square. Therefore, a n, the nth term, is equal to s n minus s n minus 1, which is equal to 4 n minus n square minus 6 n minus 5 minus n square, which is equal to 4 n minus n square, now opening the brackets, minus 6 n plus 5 plus n square minus n square and plus n square gets cancelled. So we get 4n minus 6n is equal to minus 2n plus 5 which is equal to 5 minus 2n and hence the nth term a n is equal to 5 minus 2n. Therefore, the required answer is S1 is equal to 3, S2 is equal to 4, A2 is equal to S2 minus S1 which is equal to 1, S3 is equal to 3, A3 is equal to S3 minus S2 which is equal to minus 1, A10 is equal to S10 minus S9 which is equal to minus 15 and AN is equal to SN minus SN minus 1 which is equal to 5 minus 2N and this is our required answer. I hope you understood this question. That's all for the session. Bye and have a nice day.